Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to talk about this new package from Spatty which is Laravel one time passwords. Now I have been working on a few apps where you know OTP was required for login and um, I know there is a lot of things that you need to maintain or manage in your code for example you'll have to send you'll first have to generate a password which has to be and a unique six digits there are so many rules about that then you have to send that email then there is the verification and uh, you know, the, the deletion of the um, OTPs which you have sent there's, there's work right and this this package beautifully obfuscates most of the heavy lifting it allows you to you know use um, you know a trait with two beautiful APIs that you can use to get that functionality up and running and hence I decided to give you a glimpse of how you can implement this in your existing application. I will implement this inside the Laravel React Starter Kit so that you understand how I have uh, broken down the, the usage of this package inside my React application and how I have modified the existing Starter Kit. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's get started and understand how things work. I'll start with the new Laravel application. Let's get started. Yes, I'll go with all the defaults. All right, so I have the installation done. I'll get inside that folder and yes, open up VS Code. And I'll use this email, so okay, it is still there. We'll also need to install the package. So first, let us go ahead and do that. I'll do a composer require. In the meantime, I will do serve and npm run dev. Okay. This is ready. Um, this package comes with its own set of tables. So we need to run those migrations. So it publishes the migration and runs it. Let me open that database for you. Okay, so I have this one time passwords table and you know, we will see how that works. Um, and yes, I'll come to the rest of the things. But first, let's understand how the current application would work. You know, the, the starter kit has login. It requires email and password, but we need an OTP. So first, why don't we register? So fill the form, let's create the account. Okay, I'm logged in and I need to log out. Okay, let's go into the database. I have user one, which is me, and we will try to log in using OTP. Okay, so in this form, first we need to make some changes. So let's understand how this works. I'll go into my web.php route and I see that I have auth.php where all the authenticated routes, I mean auth related routes are. I have register, I have login. Login is handled through this create method where I am rendering auth slash login. If you go inside the resources, uh, JS, pages, auth, I have the login. But we are not going to use this but rather we will have our own version. So let's say I have a component called login otp.tsx. I'll copy this entire component because we are gonna use this almost entirely. Okay. I don't need the password and remember over here. This props are not required as well. So I'll just remove them everything from this uh, the component name will be OTP login OTP and uh, what is the problem with this yes oops I need the email but everything else is not required so I can get rid of this as well this form submit will change we will get into that later yeah so return inertia render and I'll do auth login OTP. I don't need to send any prop 
right now so just this is it let's understand what is happening something is breaking over here yes what is it can't reset password yes so the first field is fine i'll let me see if it generates something for me yes enter the email below to log in yes this is fine in the form i just need this field rest of the two fields can go away i will quickly change one thing in my editor.config which is ts tsx should also have indent size of 2 okay um so let's see yeah this is fine so in my login component now i just have this email field and with that you know this is not going to work or rather this would have worked with the email password thing but now we need a new route which is um, send otp so yeah it will be a post route i'll copy this send otp send otp name send otp okay what i will need to do is basically the form should submit on this particular route where is it yeah okay so in here i'll do send otp request yes this is fine dollar data equals uh, request validate email and let's do a dump of the data okay let's just understand whether things are working or not um that's why i have copied the email um okay yes we are here and now how do i how do i send the otp or rather how do i generate the otp and send it this is where the package comes in it says you know uh, create one time password user send one time password that's it that's the only function that i need to call but how well that's because we need to add this trait to our user model okay that has all the functionality so let's go to our user.php has one time passwords and if you see inside has one time password it has quite a few things but the one which we were interested in is send one time password so send one time password what it does is this is a public function okay so i can do a create one time password or i can do send one time password which will first create and then it will notify the user perfect let's let's go ahead and start using this um that's about it but how do i get the user well that's basically user equals this i will simplify the import and if everything is right i will not redirect right now but just try and see okay i don't have that in my clipboard i'll copy the email paste it and something happened it is not returning what it is supposed to so i will just simply remove this for now let's try once more there is a success if i go to my database now i have the password okay and from here we need to move on we will need one more screen where we can send the o i mean we can enter the otp we'll have a get url again which is enter otp okay this is the method that is required mm. i don't need the request it will be a return inertia render auth enter otp okay and what i will do is let's go over here i don't need to go into the vendor in here we will create one more form 
or rather component similar to enter otp i mean sorry login otp i will have this what does it need it needs otp okay i'll just change this yeah so the form field will be otp only and yes one time password text it is changing a lot of things i'll i'll just explain but let's first go through the process i don't need this div anymore login okay so let's see what has happened my form type is otp which is fine enter otp um yeah the field is otp which is obviously data.otp send enter your otp this is all all working properly and on submit it goes to enter but yeah we will do verify so this is something which we need to create but what i understand now is what i can do is redirect return redirect to route um what is the name of the route over here enter otp it's a get route um okay so this means let me copy my email address and go to login if i now do this it takes me to this particular screen where it says enter your otp okay i can potentially right all right so this is all done we are almost there uh we need to enter otp verify otp right so verify otp is what i need to create i'll do one more post route yes verify otp is created and i'll add that method request i'll have data equals i only need the otp once we get the otp how do we validate it well this is where the consume one time password comes into picture we get result user attempt login using one time password okay so this basically means i need the user model and in here can you see we get the user id so i'll have to pick the um, otp instance first so what can we do we can do otp equals i have the um, you know one time password model so i will do password equals what is coming from the otp and where so because this package right it allows you to use otp with other entities as well so i can do authentic authenticatable type authenticatable i just add the type over here and this is going to be a hard coded string for now which is this yes okay so i am looking for I'll do query okay yeah this reads better okay yes yes um, do the hinting now you can be a bit secured about the error messages for now i'm saying that otp was not found okay so we are trying to look for an otp model based on this if we get this then we will load the user user equals user find using id which is authenticatable id if you see we have authenticatable id over here okay so we found the user and now we verify so we can do result equals this till here
we have OTP password. Oops. Right. Let's see. So we have OTP. If not, then go back. Then we find a user and we do result equals this. Yes. This should work. And then the fallback is always this. So let's see. Yeah. Thank you, Copilot. Let's go back to our login screen once again. I will copy my email address, enter over here, goes to OTP. By the way, by default, you will get the all the emails in log file because that's the driver. I forgot to show you. See, in here you get the OTP 799500. Refresh 799500. Okay. So we'll copy this. First, let's do something random. One, two, three, four. This is the validation. And if I do this, no, it's not working. I hit enter and voila, we are in. So this is how the OTP validation works. And if I now refresh, can you see the OTP has been deleted as well. So all your uh, you know, behind the scene tasks has been taken care of by this package. And that is the beauty. You know, it simplifies a lot of your work. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys. I hope you like this video. If you like this, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well.